Northern Cobalt has recently acquired a new vanadium project, uh, one that we are extremely excited about. Uh, the location of it is in Alaska, um, in the Northwest Passage, so it's not in the northern uh, parts of Alaska where it's cold and hard to operate. It's actually uh, further down to the south adjacent to British Columbia or, or Canada. Um, so we, what, what led us to this project was um, we were looking for vanadium projects around the world and we managed to identify this one in particular because it has a very high magnetic signature um, and that is because it's a vanadium bearing magnetite uh, project. So the cost of acquisition of this project was extremely low. We were able to just go out and, and peg the ground. It was free ground. And I guess the obvious question is, well, if it's a vanadium project, why, why was this free ground? Um, and the answer to that is that this has, in the past, been looked, as, looked at as an iron ore project, a magnetite iron ore project. Um, so in the 1950s, the United States Geological Survey um, investigated it as an iron ore project. Um, they, they drilled some holes and produced some iron ore concentrates and we looked at those analyses and realised that the vanadium content was really quite high. Um, more recently, I think back in the 2000s, there was a company that also looked at it as an iron ore project and didn't look at the vanadium um, and they uh, relinquished the project when the iron ore price decreased recently. But if you look at the, the value of the vanadium in the system, um, you can see that there is a lot of potential in this project um, from a vanadium point of view. Um, so we're very excited about this project and it being a, a magnetite, a vanadium bearing magnetite um, style of mineralisation. If you look at most of the other economic deposits around the world, it is uh, vanadium bearing magnetite um, that uh, makes up most of the, the economic mineralisation styles. And then that's the style of deposit that we believe we have here. So one of the reasons we got excited about this project when we looked at it um, were that the, there are some critical elements that you need um, to make any uh, deposit economic in this space. Um, and if you're producing a magnetite concentrate with, with being vanadium bearing, um, you need to have a low cost of electricity because uh, that's one of your main um, consumables. Um, and we are very lucky in this position that there is a, a hydroelectric power station uh, within kilometres of the project. Uh, and the main transmission line runs within one and a half kilometres um, of the project itself. So uh, that is a big bonus for the, for the project as a whole. Um, the other thing that you look, have to look at that can be quite costly is transport. So um, this is not a project that's in the middle of um, outback Australia and needs to go a long way to get to the coast. This is actually a deposit that occurs on the coast in Alaska and there is um, a deep water channel right adjacent to the deposit. So we have the potential to bring in Panamax and Cape class vessels um, right up to the edge of the deposit um, and load our product onto those, those vessels. So with the low cost of electricity and the ability to get your main transport uh, mechanisms right um, to the edge of the deposit, uh, we believe these are, are two factors that make this project very favourable. So Northern Cobalt has a lot of plans for our Alaskan vanadium project. Um, in the short term, we plan to use a new technology where we can fly uh, detailed magnetic surveys with drones. That allows us to get a lot more detail than we would be able to normally if we were flying a helicopter. Um, so we're planning for the, those surveys right at the moment. Um, so what we get out of a detailed magnetic survey is uh, a direct mapping of the concentrations of magnetite. And because the vanadium mineralisation occurs within the magnetite, it's a direct way of mapping out the concentrations of vanadium. Um, so once we've been able to uh, model up those concentrations of vanadium uh, via the magnetite and magnetic signature, uh, we can plan a drilling program on the basis of those models. Um, and then pending the necessary approvals, um, we'll get a, a drill rig out there and we'll work on defining um, a vanadium resource in the short term.